Hi guys, it's Dr. Sayed here, aka Real Skin Doctor, and this is the first video on my YouTube channel. Let's kick things off with the most obvious question, who am I? So I'm a medical doctor who graduated from Imperial College London in the United Kingdom in 2016, at which point I carried out my own personal Brexit to come to the United States. The reason I came to the US was because I wanted to pursue residency training in dermatology. And that is what I'm currently doing. So I am a third year resident at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. And this is a good time to mention that even though I may be wearing the badge on my chest because I'm lazy and I don't want to change for my work clothes, the views I express on this channel are entirely my own and do not reflect the opinion of the Mount Sinai health system as a whole. So for those of you who watch Grey's Anatomy, you'll know that senior residents like myself are the scary ones that made uh, Meredith Grey get really nervous in the first season. And I will myself be one of the chief residents at Mount Sinai Hospital in just a couple of months. But because dermatologists are so much nicer than general surgeons, I of course do not bully my first years. Well, so why did I start a page called Real Skin Doctor? So the reason is since I graduated from medical school, which itself was a pretty long journey, uh, and in another one of my videos, I'm gonna talk about how exactly my experience of becoming a doctor was different in the UK as compared to in the US. After that point of when I graduated, uh, I have spent around about three and a half years studying dermatology specifically. And I think that's probably the reason why it drives me so crazy when I go online on YouTube and Instagram and social media as a whole, and I see a bunch of people who have no qualifications when it comes to skincare, trying to give out advice as if they are subject area experts. The amount of misinformation that I come across on a daily basis, as well as, dare I say, fake news is really terrifying to somebody who has spent so much time specifically studying this area. With every blogger, influencer, fashionista, and z celebrity trying to come out there and telling you about their skincare secrets and their nighttime routine, it becomes almost impossible for the general public to be able to go online and to decide which information is fluff and which of it is scientific fact. That's where I come in. And I know what you're thinking. I'm not exactly what you expected when you thought about having somebody share their skincare secrets with you. You're probably picturing a well put together, young, blonde, really attractive female who was talking to you through one of their charcoal or avocado masks. And instead you have a very attractive male sitting in front of you today. And that's gonna be a difficult adjustment for you, but I just want you to bear with me because I think it's gonna be worth it. I may not have the blonde hair and I may not have the charcoal mask, but what I do have is the scientific evidence base behind the issues that you care about when it comes to your skin. So on this channel, I'm gonna be doing some educating, I'm gonna be doing some myth busting, and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my recommendations when it comes to skincare products. I'm not gonna to speak to you guys in buzzwords and flowery language where we talk about radiance, exfoliation, and rejuvenation. I wanna make skincare advice evidence-based, easy to understand, and even a little bit fun if we can manage that. So why did I call myself the real skin doctor? I know it sounds a little bit passive aggressive and uh, maybe even a little bit arrogant, but I assure you it wasn't supposed to be that way. The rationale behind it was that it was kind of supposed to be a play on words. So the first interpretation is the obvious one. I'm a real skin doctor in that I'm studying dermatology. So this is an area in which I consider myself expert. Now that's not to say that people who are just skincare enthusiasts or uh, other healthcare professionals that aren't dermatologists, or even people who practice alternative medicine, that they can't have an opinion on this area. Of course, everybody is entitled to their own opinion to decide what works best for their own skin. All I'm saying is that uh, if I was somebody who wanted legal advice, chances are if I Googled someone or YouTube someone, I would want that person to be qualified in law. Similarly, if I wanted to get a, a leaky pipe fixed, I would contact a plumber or at least look at a tutorial on YouTube that was done by a plumber. So uh, I wanted to kind of highlight myself as a real skin doctor just to assure people that uh, when I'm talking about the skin conditions and my recommendations, it's not just based based on a hunch. It's not just because I know my mother-in-law once got really beautiful skin by rubbing uh, coconut oil and cumin mixture on her face. I want you guys to know that when I talk, it is based on evidence and the things that I study because this is my profession. Now, the second meaning of real skin doctor, I really wanna emphasize the real skin part. And what do I mean by focusing in on real skin? I feel like too often these days, we're showing these depictions in commercials where there's these models with perfect, 
porcelain and poreless skin and it sits like a delicate blanket on top of these perfectly plump cheeks. And that is what the marketing executives want us to think about when we imagine skin. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not real skin. I see real skin on a day-to-day -day basis. I see thousands and thousands of patients and I'm here to tell you that nobody looks that way. I'm a doctor of real skin and I want to reorientate people's expectations to what real skin is and to give advice and recommendations that are useful for treating that real skin that exists on human bodies and not the fake thing that you see on TV that has been airbrushed out of recognition. So what kind of content am I gonna be providing on this channel? Firstly, I'm gonna be talking about some common skin conditions that I feel like a lot of people suffer from. Whether it's you yourself that has a skin condition or a loved one, a family or friend that you know is suffering with it, I wanna talk about conditions like acne, eczema, rosacea and psoriasis for example, which so many people are confused about. I'm gonna talk about what causes these conditions, what it can look like, some of the treatment options that are available and then also how these conditions can change over time. I also want to answer some frequently asked questions. Now, whether that's questions that I get all of the time in clinic from my real patients, or whether that's things that you guys post in the comments below, which I really encourage you to do. I'm gonna be screenshotting those people who do ask questions, and I'm gonna be putting them at the front of the videos when I do the FAQs. So if you guys want that shout out, please do engage below and ask me any questions that might be on your mind. This is a good time to give the caveat that as much as I love my early subscribers, anyone who does ask a question that is specific to their own medical issue and expects to get specific tailored advice I'm not gonna be able to do that over a YouTube channel because I'm sure it's illegal in some way and I'll probably have my medical license revoked so I can't give you specific treatments for any problems you might have or specific advice even what I need to do is speak in generalities and hopefully educate you guys about the common problems that people may be facing and answer some questions that are really burning on a lot of people's minds but yeah I can't call in a medication to your pharmacy or look at one of your pictures and give you a specific answer to what it is that's going wrong with you. Uh, so please don't post those below. Some examples of FAQs that I hope to making videos about are uh, generally to do with sunscreen, the types of ones I recommend, how often you have to use it, do they really work, do they cause cancer, for you guys who've never heard that before, just ignore that part. And for those of you who have, look forward to my video discussing it. I wanna talk about retinoids because they're seen as a miracle product to a lot of people in cosmetics. We're gonna be talking about some other cosmetic procedures such as uh, Botox injections, filler, chemical peels, and lasers. And I'm also gonna be giving some uh, moisturizer recommendations and talking about the importance of moisturizer to people's skin. Another type of video that I'm gonna be uploading is called my thought of the day. So what that's gonna involve is me uh, probably coming straight home from work and being dressed like this. I will walk through that door you see behind you and I'll just come straight down and sit in front of the camera and press record and I'll talk to you guys about something that's on my mind uh, that will likely be something to do with skincare and dermatology and being a dermatologist but it could also be about you know medicine on the whole or even just life in general I'm a very complex multi-dimensional person so you know I have a lot of thoughts so chances are those thoughts of the day might slightly go off into a tangent but hopefully it'll be something useful and interesting for you guys and then another type of video that I'm excited to be able to upload for you guys is um, me just discussing life in the UK compared to life in the US. So as an immigrant who only moved here a couple of years ago, I feel like I have such a unique position to be able to tell people about what life was like in Europe, back when it was still Europe, compared to what life is like for uh, a person who's moved recently to the US in the age of Trump and has been an immigrant out here. So uh, those are some videos I'm excited to do. And I'm also gonna be talking to some of my fellow international medical graduates. So shout out to my IMGs out there. Uh, I'll be giving you guys some advice on how it is that I managed to uh, transition my medical career from another country to the United States. So I'm gonna be speaking about my specific journey and also giving you guys some advice that might be useful and applicable to yourselves in your own journeys. So if you're an IMG, I hope you do follow my page and uh, keep a close eye on it because I'm gonna be trying to post some things that will be useful for you guys in your application journey. So if you like the sound of any of this, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm very new to this as you can tell and this is my very first video, but I've invested the time, effort and frankly money to try and get a really good setup for you guys so that I can make some high quality content. I want the video to be crisp, I want the sound to be good, I want the editing to be professional and most importantly I want the things that I talk about and the topics that I discuss to be evidence based and scientific. So if you're passionate about skincare and dermatology, please do like and subscribe to my channel.
channel. Comment below any questions you may have, any feedback you might have for me in terms of how I can make my channel and my videos better. I'm a very weak man with very low self-esteem. I really need other people to give me affirmation and love and to tell me that this is good content so that I will have the motivation to keep going. So I hope you guys will keep that in mind. I hope you guys will comment below and subscribe as I mentioned. So thank you so much for watching this first video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.